Welcome to Valens Lake Conservation Area, a beautiful little park outside of Cambridge, Ontario. Valens Lake Conservation Area is located in southern Ontario, just east of the city of Cambridge. Valens Lake offers you the look and feel of the north right in your own backyard. Hello? Yeah, we are. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. So this is kind of different for us. We uh, are very rarely hooked up to water. But as you see here, we got our electrical over here, we've got our surge protector on there, and we're hooked up to water right here. Got our filter attached right here, so it's all filtered water going through the white hose, and it goes right into the city water connection here. And the good thing about that is no pump to turn on. So every time we uh, open up a faucet, you don't hear the going on. It's just like in your home. One of the things we added was this regulator here, a water flow regulator. We always put that on in case the pressure here is too strong. Uh, we don't want it to damage the trailer. This restricts the flow. There are eight campgrounds with a total of 130 electric and water hookups and 95 no electric or water. There are 18 pull through sites. So this is a walk-in campsite, very secluded, very out of the way. Bit of a hike to get here, but uh, it's very nice. There are eight group campsites for organized youth, adult, and family gatherings. There are three comfort stations with toilets and showers, and there's six comfort stations, just toilets. Unlike provincial parks, the showers are closed for the season due to COVID-19. There's a boat launch. There's a small dog beach, but 100 meters over from the regular main beach. 
There are two park stores, one at the main beach and one in the main campground. On weekends in the summer, there's a chip wagon. There's a sandy beach that gets groomed every day. There's excellent data coverage in this area. We're still basically along the 401 corridor, just outside of Cambridge. Uh, Bell, Virgin Mobile, Kudo, Telus, excellent service. I can't really talk about the other companies because uh, I don't have them, but uh, I can only imagine they'd be excellent too because of the location that we're in. Soon coming to Valence, there are eight cabins being built. They hope to be ready for the fall of 2021 or during the winter. There's gonna be two cabins that are for two people each. There's gonna be four cabins for four people each and two cabins for six people. They haven't opened for reservations yet. This is the trailer dump station closest to the main gate. There is four dump spots with two hoses. The hoses are not threaded at all, but it's easy enough to just unscrew that hose and put on your own hose if you want. And uh, then you can use your black water flush. There is no potable water fill up here because it's not really necessary. If you have an electric site, you have water at it. If you don't have an electric site or water, there's taps all over the place that you can fill up your jugs. This is the sewage dump station in the campground. It is just one spot, one hose, not threaded. Alcohol is not permitted anywhere within the park. There's great opportunities for fishing here. You can find a spot along the shore. You can find a spot on one of these docks like I'm standing on right now. Or you can go out in a canoe, kayak, rowboat, something like that. No motorized boats permitted. You can catch pike, bass, perch, and uh, other assorted panfish. There's several of these docks around the lake. Gives you a really nice view and you can fish off many of them. At the Wilderness Pavilion, there's a spot to put your kayaks and canoes. You can lock them right up to these racks. Now this is the type of thing I missed. The last five parks, we were at Lake Erie Parks, we really didn't get a chance to uh, do any paddle boarding. Uh, I did a little bit on Lake Erie, a little choppy, a little scary. But uh, at Valens here, this is a nice, small little lake. Waves don't get too high, and it's uh, really good for exploring. I'm enjoying this a lot. These sites are a little small. Um, our site right here, we are site number 27. Uh, right next to us is the next site, and it is really close. You can see their water tap is right there. Um, they've got a tent right there. So really from our fire pit to their tent is probably about 20 feet. So it's not really ideal for having a uh, campfire here at night because we're so close to their tent. Um, this is ideal though. If we had friends that were over there, it'd be great. We can go back and forth. It's nice and open. Uh, also, if that was another trailer parked there, it would be the backside of the trailer. We'd have privacy. It wouldn't be too bad at all. It's just unfortunate right now. Uh, it's a tent there, so it is very open. Everything is heard back and forth, and it's just kind of uncomfortable for us to have a uh, campfire here.
and that was the boardwalk. that time again, Cole's notes for Valens Lake Conservation Area. Okay, I was pleasantly surprised with Valens Lake. It was a little better than I expected it to be. Um, it's a very large day use area, park for picnicking. Um, they have volleyball areas, different nets set up throughout and uh, day beach area. Um, I, I really enjoyed the lake because again, I like to kayak. So it was nice to do that. And there's a boat launch area that we could uh, uh, dock our, or unload our kayaks. Um, yeah, I was, I was very surprised too. Like you, we're both surprised. We weren't mm -hmm. expecting this to be as nice as it was. Mm -hmm. um, and being able to use the, uh, the boat launch and go into the uh, uh, Valens Lake itself, mm -hmm. we're able to use our kayaks and our stand up paddle board. Yeah. Yeah. So that was great. And because we haven't been able to do that for the last few parks we were at. No, no. So that was that was nice to do. Um, we could do our biking and hiking. You could do that. There is a tiny little spot, a little area for uh, dogs to play in the water. But we kind of, I, I think you can kind of extend it over to the dog beach or the, the boat launch area. Now we're comparing this to provincial parks. Uh, because we usually do provincial parks. So this is like a, a small provincial park, mm -hmm. uh, but it was pretty nice. Would I go travel four or five hours to get to this park? Probably not. But would you travel half an hour to get to this park? Oh yeah, it's nice for a weekend getaway or a couple days. Yeah, it, it's like 35 minutes from our house. It's so not a huge park, but it's, it's something it's nice. we would definitely go to again for a quick little getaway. Mm-hmm. Um, there's fishing for the avid fishing crew. They could uh, fish off the, there's a bridge that yeah, goes really over nice, the lake. Really nice boardwalk bridge yeah. that goes over the lake. A lot of people fish from that. And then people put in their boats. Uh, there's no motor boats allowed, but I did see people mm -hmm. using uh, electric trolling motors, so mm -hmm. I assume that that's allowed. Mm -hmm. There's two hiking trails around the lake. Uh, one of them that goes halfway around across the boardwalk, you're allowed to use your bicycles on. Mm -hmm. And it's not a bad cycling trail. I think it's 4.2 kilometers, so it's very easy to do. Like I said, it's a small park. There's not huge trails, not super long trails, but it's kind of like a shrunk down provincial park. It's quite nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the grounds were well kept. Um, the comfort stations, the flush toilets were available, but the showers were closed at the time. And the two stores in the park, the one at the beach was uh, totally closed, but the one in the main the part of the campground, it was open, but you had to order everything from the window from the outside. You can go in. Um, and it seemed like they had a, a pretty good uh, like they had, supply there of like, groceries and things and like that. Like t-shirts and mugs and stuff, but um, didn't have like regular ice cream that you get, but they just had the uh, novelty ice cream bars. Oh yeah, like fudgesicles yeah, and frosticles sort of and stuff like that. Yeah, the campsites. Um, it depends what section you're in. Yeah, in the section we were in, Tamarack, uh, each campsite is like a small D or something like that. It has so it's a, a driveway and then you have an offshoot where your fire pit and picnic yeah. table is. It is quite small um, and you're very close to your neighbor. Um, as you saw in, <laughs> earlier in the video, um, our neighbors were like eight feet away from us uh, washing their dishes. Uh, they had grooming under the water, so we weren't yeah. out at our fire pit. But that was like eight there. feet away from our fire pit, yeah. so yeah. we didn't spend much time at our fire yeah. pit. Our friends, who you've seen many times, uh, the Saladas, they were the next campsite over, 
and uh, they had much more privacy there. Plus, uh, they were basically looking at the backside of our trailer, so that's what gave them some some good privacy. Yeah, the online there. pictures when booking didn't really show that. Yeah, it looked like it was private, but it wasn't. Yeah. Uh, so they're not large sites, um, and uh, there isn't a lot of privacy. But uh, this is a conservation area. It's a, it's a small park. They jam a lot into this park. Uh, like I said, I was, I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, we had a good time there. And because we were so close to home, we were able to have uh, family and friends drop by and visit us. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of fun. I had uh, two of my brothers show up. Um, they don't camp at all. So it was kind of fun having them there and they got to see uh, what we do. Mm -hmm. We also had uh, Amy. two of her kids. Yeah. Amy came and Allie stayed overnight. So those two, Brian didn't make nope. it, but. So it was so close to home, we were able to do some running back and forth. Mm -hmm. it, was, uh, it was quite nice. I didn't see any playgrounds. The, the day use area is huge. Lots of room to run, play soccer, do stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But there's actually no playground equipment. But there's still a big area for them to, mm -hmm. to do stuff. There is no sort of visitor center or amphitheater, but I don't think there is in any of those um, conservation areas. So for a rating, um, again, we're rating this not against other conservation areas, because we don't do a lot of conservation areas. We're rating this compared to other provincial parks. And it didn't do too badly for a conservation area. I think most of them would be rated less than a lot of provincial parks. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think... Uh, a seven? A good solid seven Yeah, uh, is, is a good rating for this. Has so, the things that we like to do. Yeah. So for Valence Conservation Area, the rating is... A seven. seven. Okay, so that's it for Valens Conservation Area. Next, we're going to be going to... Murphy's Point. That's right. That's where we are right now. We're at Murphy's Point. So we'll see you in the next one. Until then, happy camping. Happy camping. Bye. A beautiful little park outside of Cambridge, Ontario. <laughs> you have trouble every time. Get ready. Again. Welcome to Valens... <laughs> okay. Welcome to Valens Lake Conservation. <laughs> you okay. did it to me, okay.